hello everyone welcome to our video tutorial in today's tutorial we are going to focus on formatting the fields which contain currents and dates so to follow this tutorial we are going to work with our database which we created in the previous tutorials then if you don't have you can go ahead and create a new database then you enter the records that we have in this workers wage database so since we already have it under the recently opened databases we shall click to open it then we are going to deal with this table so we shall double click to open the table once again sometimes you may want to format the fields which contain date stroke time as their data types or those fields which contain currents as the data type and they meet what you want so in today's video tutorial that's what we are going to focus on before we can continue with this tutorial let's have a look at this simple information that i've prepared so while formatting the date stroke time fields there are some characters that we may need to use for instance we need to use this minus symbol as a date separator so once you use this minus symbol as a date separator then this is how the dates will be displayed in the table then you can also use this forward slash symbol as a date separator as well so when you use this symbol then this is how the dates will be displayed in the table while formatting the dates then we represent the day with letter d then the month is represented by m then year is represented by y y so for instance if you want to write this date or to format the date in this form then this is what you would write in the field property for that date stroke time field then if you want your date to be displayed like this then this is how you would write it in the format area under the field properties now this mm stands for the month of uh, june then dd is for may uh, 5th then yyy four of them is is to represent the year so that's how we can write it so when you have two m that means even the digits for the month will be two if you have two these then the digits for the day will be two if you have four y y written then it means the year will contain the four digits if for instance we had only two y then we would have only two digits for the year so while here if it if it is m then it will be written as uh, that month without any other digit it is only one digit then if if it is d you are going to have one digit for d then if it is four y's then you are going to have four digits for the year so this is how we can format our date stroke time fields however there are a lot of ways how we can format those fields that contain date stroke time now we can go back to our database and we begin with the formatting now under this date of birth field we can see that the date and the months are containing one digit so what we are going to do is that we now would like to format this this field for date of birth to ensure that the month contains two digits the day contains two digits then the year containing also two digits 
to do that we have to open our table in design view we can do it from here or use the view option then click on design view so from here we are going to click this field for date of birth then we go to the field properties from the field properties we are going to work with this format option so we shall click in this field we delete what is in that field then now we are going to type mm for month then we use the minus symbol dd for day then our minus symbol then yy for year this means that we shall have the month having two digits the day having two digits then the year also having two digits after doing this we go and save then now we can open our table in data sheet view then when we go under date of birth we can see this is exactly what we wanted to do so if we want instead of using the minus symbol we see the slash uh, symbol then we open our table in the design view we go under format since our field is already selected so we shall click where there is a minus we shall delete and put the slash and also come here we delete this and put our slash we save the changes then open our table in data sheet view then when we go under date of birth we can see now the minus symbols represented or replaced by the slash symbol if you want the year to contain the four digits then you open your table in design view then we go straight to the format option since this field is already selected now this time we shall add two more y so that we have the four digits in a year so after adding we save open our table in data sheet view then when you go under here you can see now the year contains all the four digits you can decide even to format this date of birth field to display for you the full month name for instance september 2nd 1990 so to do that we shall open this table again in the design view so we click design view then under design view we shall go to the format area because this date of birth is already selected now we shall click where we have our format now since we want to display the full name of the month where we see mm we are going to add two more m so after adding we can decide to leave it like that then we save our changes so we click on the save changes then we open now this table in data sheet view we see whether the, the the name of the month will be fully displayed on our screen so we shall go and click on the view uh, option then we select data sheet view so when we click on data sheet view we can now see the months fully displayed as we wanted if you want to display the full name of the day for example friday uh, instead of putting here now the full name of the month as september we just say friday then we see the figure september uh, this day then that year so what we do is to open again our table in the design view then from the design view we are going to change this one back so that we only see the digits first so what we do is to remove the two 
m then we shall move still our cursor at the beginning of that very point then we put d d d d four times so after putting that d you can put the uh, you you put the comma so after comma put the space so that you separate this d with the that now after doing this we are going to save the changes after saving the changes we open our table in data sheet view so when we open the table in data sheet view we can see the changes from this first cell but here where we see this uh, pound sign it means that the contents cannot uh, be accommodated in that cell. So what we do is to adjust on the field size. So after adjusting on the field size, we can see that we have the weekday name, which is Sunday, then the date and event for the rest of the others. So that's how we can work with this field for the date of birth or a field that contains date stroke time now let us see how we can format the fields which contain currents but before we do that let's have a look at this information now while working with the fields containing currents then we use this uh, pound sign so this pound sign character helps to display a digit or even nothing for instance it can display for you the digit in this way then if you want to display the digit or the values with thousand uh, separator like this one where we see this comma then this is how you're supposed to write it under the format option in the field property of that very field that you have selected then when you write it like this here it means that you are going to first of all display the digit for instance this 10,000 then followed by the thousand separator for example now this 10,000 has a comma like what we see here after and we are saying the current symbol will come in next so that's why we see there so in 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 brief this is how the content would be displayed if you used this option now that we have got why we use this thousand why we use this uh, character we can go and open on our database and we start working on it so we are going to work with this wedge total field and we format it and it displays for us the uganda shillings symbol but to do that we have to open our table in a design view so from the design view we have to first of all select our field which is this field we name the wage total. However, before we can start formatting, we first go back once to this datasheet view, then we look at these values. Now, these values at the moment, they have got the thousand separator. In the other uh, information we looked at, we said if we just put the hash symbol it will only display the value for instance 280 without any separator now let's try to do that and see what will happen to this content so we go back to our view we click the design view now that our field is already selected we shall go where there is format so we see standard I will delete this standard. Then I put our symbol, which is that pound symbol. Then we save without adding any other 
thing. We open our table in data sheet view and see the changes. So when we open our table in data sheet view, we can see that all these values had the comma or the thousand separator, but now they are not there. That's why we say if you use that pound symbol alone, then this is what will be displayed in the cells. So if we want now to display the thousand separator in these values or in these cells, we shall again open our table in design view. Then we go where we see the format since our field is already selected. So we shall click, we add a comma, then we add more th three of these symbols. We are going to save once again. Then we open our table in datasheet view. If we look under this field for wage total, we shall see that all our values have again the separator. Now let us format this field with the Uganda shillings symbol. So we shall go to design view once again. Now from the design view, we shall click in this very field. Then to separate our values from the, the Uganda shilling symbol, we shall put a uh, press on the space bar. Then after pressing the space bar, we shall type U G X. So when we type U G X, we click to save. When we click to save and look back into this field, we shall see that some quotations have been added. So this is how it is supposed to be written. The program will automatically put this text into the quotation. So we go back and see now whether we have this symbol inserted in the values under this field for wage total. So we open our table in datasheet view. So when you open our table in datasheet view and go under the wage total, we shall find that our symbol is inserted in all the cells. So that's how we can format the cell with the UG symbol. We can also, instead of putting the Uganda shilling symbol at the end, we can decide to put it here at the beginning. So to do that, we open our table in design view. Then we shall just come under this very area. We delete this Uganda shillings up to that point and everything inside then what we shall do is to type our u uganda shillings put space then put the hash we should not forget the comma then we add more three others we click on the save button then we can now open our table in data sheet view when we go under this wage total field we shall see that UGX has been placed at the beginning of every value so if we want to do the same for this field for already paid now we shall go to our design view then we click this field for already paid we remove this standard and we type u g x put space then hash then a comma to put the separator then we can now add the three other characters then save we go to data sheet view here we have the symbol inserted for us Hope you found this video tutorial useful to you. That's it for now. See you in our next tutorial.